Hey Valley Middle, tonight we're going to be looking at finding uh, percents of numbers. But before we do that, let's start off with a problem about percents. Our trivia question tonight is, what percentage of kids in the U.S. ages 6 through 17, school-aged, participate in at least one extracurricular activity? We'll get the answer to that and much more as soon as we get going here. Today officially our target is 7.3. I can estimate the following percentages for any number, 1%, 10%, 50%, 100%, and I'm even going to throw in a half percent as an added bonus for today. Let's do this thing. Dylan wants a new game system that costs $342.99. His mom says that she will pay 10% of the cost if Dylan pays 90%. Estimate the amount Dylan's mom will contribute towards the game. Well, the first thing we do is say $342.99 is about $350. His mom's going to pay 10%, so we're going to divide by 10. So I take 350 divided by 10. We can't use a calculator on this target here, so to divide by 10, I'm going to move the decimal one spot to the left, just like we have before. So 350 divided by 10 equals 35. Does this make sense? Well, sure it does, because $35 times 10 would be 350. So Dylan's moms can contribute about, about $35 towards the game. Well, tonight, we need to be looking at these targets, figuring out what one half percent is, which is like one out of 200, or one percent, which is always one one hundredth, 10 out of 10 percent, which is 10 hundredths, 50 percent, 50 hundredths, and of course, 100 percent, which is 100 one hundredths. But the question of the day is, how do you determine these without a calculator? Good question. All right, I'm going to take you through some examples and then have you work some right after it. First of all, finding 1%. To find 1% of a number, step one is to round the number to a familiar landmark. So I had 289, just rounded it to 300. And then I wrote this division problem, 300 divided by 100, because I want to know what 1% is. And there are 100% total. So if I divide 100, 300 divided by 100. When dividing by 100, I just move the decimal two spots to the left, one, two, and I get 3.00, or three. So now I have to ask yourself, does this estimate make sense that three would be equal to 1%? Well, yeah, because 1% of 100 is going to be one, just like one cent is 1% 1 of a dollar, and one dollar is one percent of a hundred dollars. So to find a half percent, we just cut that number in half. So we know that if one percent of a number is three, a half percent is going to be one and a half. Okay? You with me on it? Try one on your own. It's very similar. And then I'll work through it with you when you're done. Go ahead and give this a shot. Find or estimate one percent of 613. Well, let's see how you did. First of all, you should have rounded 613 to probably 600. That made sense to me. So then I took and I divided 600 divided by 100. I moved that decimal spot two spots to the left, and I found out that 600 divided by 100 is just 6. Now, does that make sense? Well, again, 1% 1 of 100 is 1, so 1% 1 of 600 should make sense. I want you to see if you can now find a half percent of 600. All right, let's see how you did. Well, we know that 1% equals 6, so a half percent is going to be 3. And it's using that kind of logical reasoning and those landmarks that will help you navigate through them. Here's the good news. I think finding 1% and a half percent is the hardest. I think the next two are going to be very easy. So let's get to it. Estimate 10% of 69. Well, we do the same thing here. We round to a familiar landmark. So I took 69 and I rounded it to 70. And I want to know what 10% is, so I divide it by 10. 70 divided by 10. Well, I don't have a calculator, but I know that dividing by 10, or just like dividing by 100, I can move the decimal. So to divide by 10, I move the decimal one spot to the left. And I get 7 or 7.0. So 7 equals 10%. Does this estimate make sense? 
Well, yes, it does, because 10% of 100 is 10. So 10% of 70, 7 makes total sense. Time for you to try one. See if you can estimate 10% of 253. Go ahead and pause it and try. All right, let's see how you did. Well, if you round to a familiar landmark, I rounded 253 to 250. Then I took 250 and I divided it by 10. Without my calculator, I just moved the decimal one spot to the left and I had 25. Does this answer make sense that 25 is 10%? Well, sure it does. Because 10% of 100 is 10, so 10% of 200 is going to be 20, and so on. Okay. That was easier, wasn't it? I think the next one I'm going to have you try uh, is finding 50% of a number. Again, I think these get even easier. I need you to find 50% of 178. Well, first of all, just round to a familiar landmark. So I took 178 and I rounded to 180. I think you could have gone to 200, but I went to 180. The next step is just divide by 2, because 50% is half. So 180 divided by 2 is 90, because I know that 18 divided by 2 is 9, so 180 divided by 2 is 90. And I have 90 equals 50%, or 50% equals 90. Does this answer make sense? Well, yes, it does, because 50% of 200 would be 100. So 50% of 180? Yeah, 90. All right, time for you to try one. Estimate 50% of 789. Go ahead. All right, let's see. I rounded to a familiar landmark of 800. Then I divided by 2, and I got 400. Well, does this estimate make sense that 50% is 400? Well, yeah, 50% of 1,000 is 500, so it makes total sense. Good job. You know, the last one is probably the easiest of all, and that's finding 100%. 100% of any number is always the number itself. Take a look. 100% of 214 is 214. 100% 100 of $456.32 is $456.32. You try it. What's 100% of 4,567? I bet you you said 4,567. How about a decimal? How about 100% of 3.452? It's the number itself. All right. All seems good, right? Well, there's always a yeah, but... And the yeah, but kind of comes when you work with smaller numbers. So I went through, wanted to go through an example after you got familiar with it of finding 1% of a smaller number, a number less than 100. So I just took 18. Find 1% of 18. You still follow the same steps. I round to a familiar landmark, which is 20. I took 20 and divided by 100 because I want to know what 1% is. and That would be 1 100th. So dividing by 100, again, I moved the decimal two spots to the left, and I got 0.2 is my estimate. Well, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's, again, remember, 1% of 100 is 1. So using that guideline, you know that it's going to be a small number, 1% of 18 or 20. So if 0.2 equals 1%, to get a half percent, you just cut that number in half, one half percent. All right, so 0.2 equals 1%. Point 0.1 would equal one half percent. All right, time for you to try a few. It's uh, just one problem with 11 parts. No, one problem with, uh, let's see, I'm going to add one more, five parts. Estimate the following percentages of 97 on this chart. What is estimate what 1% would be, 10%, a half percent, 50%, and 100%. All right, thanks. Here is the percentage question of the day. What percentage of U.S. kids ages uh, 6 through 17 participate in at least one extracurricular activity? I was shocked.
from the Urban Institute, which is kind of a nonpartisan economic and social policy research uh, institute, they found out that 83% of all kids aged 6 to 17 participate in at least one extracurricular activity, clubs, sports, or lessons. So I think that's awesome. I think uh, I'd like to see that number even higher. All right, thanks so much. Bye.